What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers videos, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you think that Matt Beatty should get another opportunity for the Dodgers in the show this year? Do you want the Dodgers to call up Matt Beatty and have him take Cody Bellinger's spot in the outfield. Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. I want all your takes on this one. Let me know down below in the comments section. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. Hashtag free Matt Beatty. I think it's time for the Dodgers to strongly consider calling up Matt Beatty and giving him some starts in the outfield. And you sit Cody Bellinger. You put Chris Taylor and Mookie Betts in center. And you put Matt Beatty in one of the corner outfield spots. And look, yes, his defense is below average. But what he can do offensively compared to Cody Bellinger right now, I think you get some net benefits from that. Because Cody Bellinger has been terrible at the plate this season. You guys know how big of a fan I am of Belly, but this just isn't his year. He's trying to bounce back from the shoulder surgery, from the broken leg that he suffered, the hairline fracture in his fibula earlier in the season, and he just hasn't been able to consistently get it going. Since August 1st, Cody Bellinger is slashing 162, 191, 324 with a 515 OPS. If you look at his WRC Plus right now, it sits at 51. That's 217th at a 221 players that have over 300 plate appearances. So Cody Bellinger, by the statistics, is one of the worst hitters in all of Major League Baseball this season. And the question I have when it comes to Cody Bellinger is at what point does this start to hurt him rather than help him? Is he not going to find a way to get through these struggles? Is it not going to click? And will it have a detrimental effect on his future? Because I think right now, he looks so lost at the plate. You see how they're attacking him. He's struggling so mightily against fastballs this season, and he's just having issues putting the ball in play, and to me, that's really the last straw when it comes to Cody Bellinger this season. He's just not able to put the ball in play. He's not coming through in clutch situations. This year, with runners in scoring position, he's hitting 151. This year, with runners in scoring position and two outs, he's hitting 129. Let's compare that to Matt Beatty. With runners in scoring position, Matt Beatty's hitting 300 has an on base of 373, a slug of 400. Then runners in scoring position with two outs. He's slashing 333, 419, 481 with a 901 OPS. And then when you look at Matt Beatty, he started the season one for 11, and then he went to the alternate side. He worked on some things, and he was a different player since he came back. He hit 272, and that is very respectable, especially if you plug him in there in the eight hole, the seventh hole, down there in this Dodgers lineup against right-handed pitching, and I think the Dodgers are not giving themselves the best chance to score runs by going with Cody Bellinger when there's better options available. Now, if you look at Matt Beatty as a whole, he has a 109 WRC+, plus, an 18.1K percentage, a 9.3 walk percentage. That ISO power is low at 112. That's the thing with Matt Beatty. You're not seeing that slug, but think about how many times in the Giants series that that if they just put the ball in play, good things would have happened for him. But no, with Cody Bellinger, he was striking out. He was not doing anything with the stick. And they could have used a guy like Matt Beatty in that series. And maybe at this point, they would be back in first place. And they might even have a nice little cushion. Who knows? Because Matt Beatty has proven to be clutch. Now, yes, is he a defensive liability? Is there a hole in his glove at times? There's no question about it. If you look at it, he has a negative 15.1 UZR. So he's a negative defensive player, but you have to weigh the pros and the cons and take the good with the bad, and in this case, I think the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to Matt Beatty's ability to just look like a big league hitter, a guy that can go up there and make contact and put the ball in play, and I think it would diversify this Dodgers lineup because we've seen so many examples this year, so many games where this offense will go ice cold, they'll have issues getting guys on base, getting hits, and you know Matt Beatty's approach. He's going to go up there, he's going to be the hit man, He's going to try to hit line drives, and I think he'll get this offense going at the bottom of the lineup, whereas Cody Bellinger, there's a lot of times out there where you just have no confidence
confidence in him, and he feels like an automatic out. And yes, that pains me to say that, and I would love nothing more than for Cody Bellinger to get out of this funk, for him to find his swing and flip that switch, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to happen this season. I would love to be wrong, like I'm saying. I wish that he would catch fire and would just smoke his way through the postseason while playing fantastic defense, but it just doesn't feel like that at this point. And I just think that Matt Beatty should be playing over a Cody Bellinger or even a Billy McKinney that has proven to be a below average player offensively. Yes, I value defense, but I think that when there's no offense whatsoever and it feels like it's the pitcher's spot at times, that's not helping this Dodgers lineup. And we've had plenty of games where it's the offense's turn to pick up the pitching and they just haven't gotten it done. And if you bring Matt Beatty up, I think gives them a better opportunity to put a more complete lineup on the field offensively. And I just think Cody Bellinger, you're doing him a disservice at some point by allowing him to go up there and continue to struggle the way he is. Like I said, I always bring my facts to the fight. I don't let facts get in the way of my feelings. And the fact is, Cody Bellinger is one of the least productive hitters in all of Major League Baseball this season. And the Dodgers have better options available that they're not using. Now, the Dodgers offense has been able to get it done in the first two games against St. Louis. But I think it's time to really consider bringing back Matt Beatty. Bring back the hitman. I don't know what's going on. Is there an issue with him and Dave Roberts, him and the organization? Do we have an example of service time in it? Manipulation. Who knows what's in play, but it just feels odd that they haven't given him more opportunities considering what he brings to the table with the bat. Look, he's not Warren Beatty, but he is the natural when it comes to hitting at times, and I just think he should get another opportunity. And Cody Bellinger, his struggles really speak for themselves. But let me know down below in the comment section, do you want to see the Dodgers call up Matt Beatty, and what do you think they should do with Cody Bellinger? And lastly, do you think Belly will get out of his slump this season? I want all your takes down down below. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all his Dodgers Nation merch, head over to gearup.la. Some of the best Dodger t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.gearup.la. For all his Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. Download the app, and until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.